Once the Costa Concordia was rotated to an upright position, the next critical step was to boost its buoyancy. Engineers attached sponsons and caissons to the starboard side and additional sponsons to the port side of the vessel's hull. These sponsons were secured with heavy-duty bolts and reinforced welds along key structural points to ensure even distribution of lift. Their precise placement was crucial. They needed to counterbalance the ship's enormous weight without imposing additional stresses on its compromised structure. With the sponsons in place, the refloating process began. Air was gradually pumped into these devices, replacing the water inside and causing them to inflate steadily. This controlled inflation, combined with simultaneous dewatering from the ship's compartments, increased the overall buoyancy of the vessel in a measured manner. As the sponsons expanded, they lifted the Costa Concordia incrementally off the engineered false bottom, a process that required continuous monitoring and delicate adjustments to prevent further damage. Over several hours, this careful strategy succeeded in refloating the vessel, a pivotal moment in the salvage operation. 